And Britta, as you had mentioned, it has to track over the Great Lakes, right? And so that's going to set up for heavy snow totals as it moves into the Northeast and New England. It's going to be late tonight, really into tomorrow. That's when the Northeast gets in on the action. And so we're going to be looking at upstate New York and New England. And so we're going to pick up right where Britta left off. This is 11 p.m. and watch the different layers of this. And so the reason why we're talking western and upstate New York, there is all of that blue, the heavy snow coming off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Ontario south of that PA you're looking at ice and really we're seeing the greatest threat for the ice accumulation the thickest amount of that is going to be just west of State College but this will start to move through and by 6 7 a.m. This is going to be a wet mess out here. We have it stopped at 8 a.m. for that morning commute. Areas like Boston seeing heavy snowfall coming down just south of that, getting into the Hudson Valley, that I-95 corridor through Connecticut. That's where we have that freezing rain coming down. And the good thing is this is a fast-moving system still, though. And by 1 p.m., it's moving offshore, still the New England area dealing with that snow. And then we're looking by Friday afternoon. We're at the tail end of this Friday evening. The end. So again, the greatest threat is going to be that ice. There is State College just to the west of it. That's where we could get about a quarter inch to a half inch of ice. That is going to be disruptive power outages, difficult travel. When we look at the snow totals, though, you're going from Albany, New York, out towards Boston, right there in that purple zone. That is where they could easily get a foot to a foot and a half of snow. South of that, you get into northern PA, a couple inches of snow. Here in New York, in Manhattan, it looks like mainly it's going to be rainfall for us. It doesn't have enough, not enough cold air for it to be snow. But there's all the winter storm warnings that are in place. And right here is that ice storm warning. And with all of this comes the sleep. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.